Now say this here a radiograph is given. Okay, a radiograph is given and we have to see to identify what is present in this radiograph. The following radiograph shows complex odontome, compound odontome, fibrous dysplasia and Paget's disease. Now see Paget's disease and fibrous dysplasia, this is not there. We have to just identify what is this pathology. And this looks more or look more or less like odontoma. Odontoma. Okay. So now odontoma. Odontoma are of two types complex and compound. Now the difference, the basic structural differences between complex and compound are the complex, they are disorganized, disorganized mass, radiopaque mass, okay, and uh, tooth like structures are not visible. Tooth like structures are not seen in this case in this case okay but in compound they 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 look like some bunch of bunch of tooth like structures okay tooth like structures okay so these are complex and compound plus there are differences based on their location, their incidence, all that you should know. But the basic difference where you get a radiograph and an image is there of complex or compound, you should be able to identify from this feature. Okay. So now see imaging features, location for more of the compound type occurs in anterior maxilla with the crown of unerupted canine. Then 70% of complex occur in mandibular first and second molar area okay now see the major contrast in location is their compound is there in maxilla and complex is in posterior mandible okay peripheries odontoma are very well defined cortical border immediately inside adjacent and to the cortical border the soft tissue capsule internal structure compound odontoma com number of tooth like structures okay so this i told the radiographic features tooth like structures are visible in case of in case of compound okay that look like deformed teeth whereas complex odontoma they will be irregular mass of calcified tissue effect on surrounding structure large odontomas may cause expansion of bone but within the maintenance of uh, cortical boundary effects on adjacent teeth odontomas can interfere with normal eruption of teeth uh, almost 70 percent are associated with impacted malpose teeth diastema aplasia malformation or devitalization of adjacent teeth okay now we will see images, okay, very important images these are, okay, so as many images you see as the clearer your concept gets, okay. So now see, this is A and B picture, anterior occlusal, this is anterior occlusal and lateral oblique images of compound odontomas, see here. You can appreciate here tooth like structure, there are several malformed tooth like structures are there, okay several malformed tooth like structures are present here okay see these are compound odontomas and it is anterior maxilla as well here see this is anterior maxilla as well anterior occlusion and similarly see this one this is also compound odontoma here also a bunch of malformed denticles is observed and numerous radiopaque denticles and the radiolucency periphery you can see see here so many are there okay so this is compound odontomas now complex odontoma now you should know what does a complex odontoma look like see till now we have figured out their differences so complex compound incidence is what maxilla mandible posterior region anterior region plus these are what these are large radiopaque mass see see this is the complex odontoma it is overlying the crown of mandibular right second molar which has been replaced to the inferior border of mandible this is this is the molar we are talking about and it is just covering it whole okay so better be clear with the images of compound and comp complex odontoma okay cone beam see computed tomography image of compound odontoma preventing the eruption of mandibular permanent canine okay you can see the sequence of images here Key concept in the given image, we can see multiple tooth like radio opacity surrounded by a clear radiolucent line. This is suggestive of compound odontoma. See here also, compound odontoma, small cluster of tooth like structures preventing eruption of maxillary canine. This one, 
this is a com compound odontoma multiple toothlets preventing the eruption of mandibular cuspid okay so now see the question following radiograph shows complex odontoma compound odontoma so now it is clear that the answer would be option 2 that is compound odontoma